everyone got a brand new movie review for you guys today. Today I'm discussing The Sisters Brothers. The Sisters Brothers is a brand new western starring Joaquin Phoenix, John C. Riley, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Riz Ahmed. Some of the best actors working in Hollywood today. And the story centers around in the 1850s in, in Oregon, a gold prospector is chased by the two infamous duo of assassins, the Sisters Brothers. And of course, those two sister brothers are played by Joaquin Phoenix and John C. Riley. And now, how does Jake Gyllenhaal mix into it? Well, he is a scout who's scouting out to look for the prospector, and the prospector is played by Riz Ahmed. I was really hyped for this movie. I didn't really go into knowing much about it. I knew it was based on a novel. I didn't really watch any of the trailers, but I knew who it was involved, and I knew it was a Western. Now, I have a really soft spot for Westerns. I've grown up watching tons of Westerns with my father, and I always have the urge to look for a great Western, and I gotta say, I absolutely loved The Sister Brothers. I would go as far to say I think this is one of the best films of this year. It's super small and subtle, and the plot that I just told you, yeah, that is the story, but there's a lot more meaningful stuff within this movie. This is more of a character piece about two brothers and their past and their future and their present. Now, I think if, if you're a big fan of plots within Westerns and wanting some big gun ho action, you're not going to get that in this film. Again, you're going to get more of a character piece with two characters and telling a very subtle story with them. It's a sweet story, in fact, than that, and I really loved everything about this. I would go as far to say I think the script that was written here is one of the best scripts of this year, too. You're on the hinge of every single dialogue. The oddball kind of tone that this Western takes, but also the dramatic tone that it also takes, it melds so perfectly that I was very surprised to see that this kind of wacky tone that it portrays right in the beginning mixes so well with the dramatic tone that the film ends up having. Whereas the story and the editing can be at times, it never was a distraction for me because I loved being around these characters so much. Riz Ahmed's fantastic. Jake John Hall's fantastic. Joaquin Phoenix, I mean, the guy's one of the best actors in Hollywood today. He's he's three for three this year. Fantastic performance. But John C. Riley, man, I think people forget how underrated this guy is when it comes to dramatic acting. And to be honest, I think he gave the best performance in this film and gives one of the best performances of the year. He's so subtle in the way that he does it, but there's a couple scenes towards the end of the film with him, in fact, where it, it almost got me into tears. And it was so emotionally heavy with this journey that you've taken with these two brothers. And by the end, by the end scene with John C. Riley, it was just felt like a fresh breath of air for his character and for the story that happened. And there's the journey that you took with these two. And it's a very subtle and small performance, but I think that everyone's going to come out of this film talking about Walking Phoenix, Jake Gyllenhaal, Riz Ahmed, and how fantastic they all were. But I want people to remember that John C. Riley, man, he is superb in this film cannot extend that enough. Another thing that I really enjoyed within this film is the score. The scores adds that subtlety of the whole movie, but it's there and it's bringing you into this Western world where... In a sense, this is a film where, again, you don't... The plot is very generic. It's something that you've heard before within Westerns, but it's these characters that make it so lavish and so different from any other Western film I've seen in the past few years, and in general, any Western film I've ever seen. And the, and the direction by Jacques Audrid, who is a France filmmaker. I probably just butchered her name. I apologize on that part, but he does a wonderful job bringing this whole film together. Writing that he brings into the script again excellent. Absolutely adore this movie. It's one of my favorites of the year. E. Riley, again, I cannot praise his performance enough. He's fantastic in here. Definitely one of the best scripts of the year as well. Fantastic score, great world, and I just absolutely loved it. If you're looking to get whisked into a world with two fantastic characters and just go on this great journey and have a fantastic character piece just open up with in front of you, The Sister Brothers is the film for you. This is definitely a film that you should not miss, and if you're a Western fan, make sure not to miss this in theaters because it just whisked me into this Western civilization, and I just loved these kind of films. With all that said, I'm going to give The Sister Brothers an A-. minus. Hey guys, what are you guys' thoughts on the Sister Brothers? Do you guys see it? Are you guys looking forward to it? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Also, if you're new here, hit up Sandwich on Films right down there because you guys want to see advanced movie screens, check out our website down below. Plus, you can check out some movie news and even movie reviews over there. Guys, thank you guys so much for all the support, and until next time, stay classy.